Hey, welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today, we look at Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9 and 10. We know today that God cares about how we feel. But many times, our feelings can mislead us. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 and 10 it says the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure who can understand it i the lord search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct according to what their deeds deserve as we can see today, there is nothing that we can hide from God. Whether it is evil or whether it is good. Nothing can hide its evil from God. As the human heart, it can be very sick. And no one really understands it, not even its owner two facts about the natural heart one is that it is deceitful above all things and number two the bible says it is desperately wicked god alone knows the heart why because a he searches it and b he tries the rain for the purpose of distributing rewards according to the ways and dealing of each heart. As we will see from scripture, the ungenerated human nature is in a desperate state or a desperate condition. Without divine grace, it is gravely ill and desperately corrupt. Such nature needs the spirit and the grace of God. There is that wickedness in one's heart, which we ourselves are not aware of and do not even suspect that it is there. And this is a common mistake amongst human beings to think that our heart is better than it really is but in this fallen sinful state the heart is deceitful above all things it is subtle and it is false and it has a tendency to call evil good and to call good evil. It puts false colors upon things and loves to say, here is peace when there is war or here is war when there is peace. When men say in their hearts, meaning human beings, that there is no God, or that God does not see what he does, or God does not hear, he is only making a mistake. Many things we say and we do, a thousand times, similar things that we think God does have no knowledge of it. When all this happens to us, our hearts are only deceiving us because there is nothing that God does not see, nothing that he does not hear, and nothing that he does not understand. So when our hearts deceive us, we are only really cheating our own self. And to cheat our own self by wickedness or deceitfulness, we are only bringing ruin 
to our own self. And many times we have self-destruction and self-deception because the heart is desperately wicked. But the scripture says the Lord searches the heart because he alone knows the heart. And the Bible says he tries the reins of it. The Lord sometimes allows certain particulars to take place according to the disposition of the individual involved. This is in order to bring out what is actually in the heart. The Lord who is omnip omniscience already knows all things. That is what is in the heart of man. Even before man knows it. So in order that man will not be able to say that he is unjustly or unfairly judged. The Lord allow events to transpire caused or uncaused by him. This will always reveal exactly what is in the heart, whether it is good or whether it is bad. This is done in order that when God is ready to judge or on the day of judgment, man will not be able to say, it's not fear. It's impartial. The record of such action can be shown to any individual. Plain and clear, we will say in black and white, to each individual who at that time will be without argument. Why? Because God is the righteous judge. God judge fearly. Ju God judges accurately and according to the fruit of each man's doing. So let us today realize from the word of God that our feelings can mislead us. Our hearts, as the Bible says, is deceitful above all things and is desperately wicked. And sometimes we wonder, how can one person do such wickedness? Because wickedness lies in the heart that is not given over to the Lord Jesus Christ to be controlled. And the Bible says God knows what goes on in the heart. He searches it. He tries it. He knows every purpose, every aim, every motive. Nothing goes by him. Therefore, today, let us remember that the scripture says he will bring everything into judgment, whether it is good or whether it is evil. So let us turn over our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who knows the heart. The one who can fix the heart so that today it doesn't have to be a wicked heart. It doesn't have to be a heart that is desperate. It doesn't have to be a heart that doesn't love God or don't want to know God. Because at the end of the day, we cannot say to God, you are, you are unjust. We cannot say to him, you are unfair. 
we cannot say to him the judgment that is being meted out to us for what we have done with this deceitful heart, with this wicked heart that it is not right because already he knows and he searches out the reign of the heart. May we today trust him that he will fix this heart, the heart that we develop from being sinful and he can change our heart. The believers often sing, search me, O God, and know my heart. Today he knows every man's heart. And remember, he will give just recompense or judgment to mankind according to the fruit of each man's doing. God bless you and thank you again for watching.